Good morning everybody, welcome to Foodie Paradise Island on day 39. So today I started my day with, I drank already one liter of citrus water and I'm very proud of myself because lately I've been having more of a cereal type coffee in the morning or herbal tea and I've been wanting to get into citrus water. So I prepared it last night and I already had one and I'll have my second one. I did put lime instead of a lemon so it was a bit bitter. Next time I'll go with lemon, but still I'm very happy. It's going to help flush out what I want to get out. After, I had a bowl of my raw vegan oatmeal. It's bananas, apples, and cinnamon. I might have another bowl because it's very small. And after that, I'm leaving for the day. So I'll prepare myself lots of raw, fresh fruit and veggies in my lunchbox and lots of water, probably smoothies, and be all set for the day. And I'm super excited because my two youngest daughters also have decided to go fully raw today. Actually, they want to do a week, but I said we'll do one day at a time. And that stands for me also, one day at a time. Last week I was saying, I won't cheat for the next month, and finally yesterday wasn't that great of a day. So one day at a time, one step in front of the other and I'll follow my path getting better and better. I know it. Plus, I'm super excited because I have my girls that will follow me. And it's gonna be a challenge for them today because they're going to my mother's house. And my mother is an Italian mama who loves to feed everybody all kinds of goodies. So goodies. So I told them, don't worry about it. If you decide you do want something, you can take it, but you can tell her, I'll have it next week, Grandma, and just eat what you have in your lunch box. Okay, and I also am very motivated because I have people following me on YouTube that are on the same path as I am, so together we encourage each other, and it's great. I'm so happy that you are there, and I'm happy also to have my family that's pushing me, encouraging me, even if they don't eat raw. But now, like I said with my girls, it should be really fun. So I have to go. I'm busy. I'm in a rush. Before I leave, I'll show you what I packed up for all three of us. Bye. So our food is all packed up for the day. The girls, as I had, have had my raw vegan oatmeal this morning. A nice big bowl each. So they're full on that. And for their lunch, what am I packing? A blueberry banana smoothies. They each have the equivalent of two bananas and almost a cup of blueberries, and the rest is water. So a beautiful smoothie. An extra banana. Two apples. One little plum. Raw carrots. Little carrot sticks. Slices of cucumber. Whoops. <laughs> And in this one is their fat. They have raw cashews and raw hazelnuts. With that, they also want some lemon juice, uh, lemon water. Okay, so that's for the lunches. They each have their lunch box. Now, for me, I'll bring the equivalent of five bananas, lots of kale, and one cup of blueberries filled with water for these smoothies, some raw vegetables, an apple, but I, I'll bring extra applesauce so in case I do get hungry, and a couple plums, along with more lemon water, a lime water. Okay, so this is for our day. I think that we should be fully satisfied, and tonight we'll have a savory dinner. I'll see you then. Bye. So it's 3 o'clock, and I got home at about a half hour ago and I'm finishing my smoothies. Very delicious with the blueberries. So I had plenty of food for the whole day and I did have a few pistachios at the natural health store where I went. Okay, and at that store, I got myself raw vegan probiotics. Okay, a few people suggested that, that I try it because I've been complaining of bloating and I have been very harsh on my body and my digestive system for the past 25 years. So I'm going to try this. Maybe it could help with the, like I said, my stomach or maybe I have a gut problem. So I'll tell you if it, if it helps. So it's like 39 bucks. So I hope it will help. <laughs> I bought that. 
I also got, the lady recommended it, sauerkraut. Okay, I don't make my own sauerkraut. I don't know what you think of it. You think it's good. It seems that it's good before taking the probiotics like to prepare our system. So I'll take that. It's organic sauerkraut, unpasteurized. So I don't think it can harm it. It must be better than other stuff. And I did buy myself tahini. I needed tahini. I didn't find any raw ones. So this is roasted sesame seeds. It is fair trade. I'm very happy. And it was seven twenty-nine instead of ten. So I got two. So even if I do find a raw tahini for myself, my family likes it in recipes. I use it. So that will be good. I got veginets for my family and their sandwiches. And I found the cutest little mushrooms. Look how small they are. So they were $1.49 instead of $2.50. So they're really cute. I just couldn't leave them there. And this, this, this. I don't want to say it in front of my kids. I don't want to have to share it. I, bought, I found a papaya that was on a clearance sale table. So I got one papaya. And clearance bananas you know that they haven't even started ripening but they're not green anymore so they put them for clearance i got one two three four five six seven eight nine packs they're only about 75 cents a pack for two four six seven or eight bananas most of them and i know i hate the way they overwrap it all but like i said i do recycle the foam dishes i use them for when we go at a picnic or when I bring food to someone but it is an incredible waste I like when they have cases of sale bananas but otherwise they're always wrapped up like this and I bought a few a few heads of lettuce again because seven people lettuce passes really really quickly okay so I'll see you later for dinner bye oh and the girls did really well they ate all raw up to now I'm proud of them. And my mom is so sweet. She sent me her pumpkin seeds. So I'll put them in the dehydrator with a little bit of salt. And it will give me one of my favorite snacks. So for dinner, I'll make a meal that the girls really enjoy. It is my toodles. Okay, so the turnip noodles. They are beautiful. I spiralized three turnips. And for the dressing, they really like the avocado one I made the other day. It was like, turned out to be like pesto. It was absolutely delicious, but my avocados aren't ripe. So I'll use another recipe that I really enjoy. So there are five cups of vegetables in here, but they'll go down to four probably once they're blended. So I have half, so two cups of zucchini and two cups of celery, about a little bit more. Into that, I'll add sage and look at this it was just like cleaning against the house and it resisted all these frozen nights so sage is very resistant to frost so it's the first year i have sage but it's not the last year i love it in this dressing people ask me and what else do i use it <laughs> i only use it in this recipe up to now but even if it's just for this recipe it's definitely worth it so I'll put lots of it because I have a big recipe and I want it to be very savory. Okay, so I'm putting all the sage. You see lots of it. And I have my lemon basil, which doesn't resist frost like the sage. So I put it all in the freezer. But you see it turns out it's beautiful lemon basil i love it and i'll add pine nuts normally i put a few tablespoons but since i'm making such a large quantity and since it is for three of us this is a fourth cup one fourth cup it's really not a lot 60 milliliters 15 milliliters is one tablespoon so this is four tablespoons. I'll put six tablespoons. Yeah, so I have about six tablespoons of pine nuts. I'm gonna go blend this and I'll be right back. 
I put a lot of nuts. It's really fatty, creamy and fatty. It gave four cups total. I think I will add some celery. Okay, so I'll add about almost a cup, let's say three quarters cups of celery into it. Check it out. And I can't afford to add more zucchini because this is like an, a huge zucchini I had in the garden and it's going bad. So I cut off everything that's no good. That's it, um, I'm so spoiled having all the zucchini I needed, like lots of it, zoodles, dressings. But in the winter, I don't really buy zucchinis because they're puny, puny, and they're like a dollar each, and they all have holes in them. They started going bad. So I'm profiting a bit now. Going back to blend this. So I ended up adding three tablespoons of lemon juice into here. And I can't believe that there's all this goodness so creamy so delicious and so pure and natural I'll show you when I set up the plates later what it looks like you're gonna want some dinner's ready look at these plates okay I think that with the lighting you won't see very well so look at these plates I put my little mushrooms they remind me of bocconcini I know I often refer to cheese but I miss my cheese so much so bocconcini the dressing full of sprouts we have alfalfa broccoli radish sprouts i put a few tomatoes and on mine i added some chili flakes okay to give it some spiciness but the girls won't like that and for dessert they deserved it so much I made them some treats. It's dried bananas and date and raisin paste and I covered it with a little bit of coconut sugar and cinnamon. So that is our meal. Shall I taste it for you? Most embarrassing. And you know what else is embarrassing? Is that I'm making regular spaghetti with a delicious homemade sauce of course and a huge salad and vegetables for the rest of the family. But wouldn't this be great if they were all eating this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect, dinner's ready girls. Come on, good night. Give me thumbs up, share, subscribe, and leave me comments. Make this, bye.